Well, it is just disgusting out there. I mean, we are hitting new 52 week low after new 52 week low. Every single article out there is negative. And now even buy the dip people are now selling. And this is all before the Fed even starts to raise the rates. So is it time to sell and just run? Well, having been completely invested during the dot-com bubble and the financial crisis and living to tell about it, I will share that insight with you as the fear is very real, but the reality is sometimes actually different. But I also have an urgent warning for you as an investor that you must hear or you will lose in this kind of a market, so you gotta be aware of it. I just ask in exchange for you to gently tap that like button and consider subscribing too. It's actually super easy to do if you like the truth without the hype. And are you against having a team of investors, including me, working directly with you as we navigate these extraordinary times? If not, then you need to know the sale ends tomorrow to join the Market Insiders private group and the prices will never be lower than this again. You get full and direct access to me and a group of six and seven figure investors and you get access to four courses for free that teach you how to plan, do evaluation, build up your cash, and you get to see my watch list with price targets, my buy and sell alerts, we have live weekly Q&As, exclusive videos, and a ton more, so check out the pinned comment. And before blasting me for promoting it, I have no ads, no sponsors. This is what YouTube pays me in a month, and I give half of that and half the group's proceeds to charity. Well, what is going on right now is actually not that unusual for an old guy like me. And I'm not saying older is better than young or anything else like that. But when you have invested and lived through two actual massive crashes and made some massive mistakes to go along with it and made some great decisions too, it is much easier to rely on that experience to keep your cool in this type of market. That's exactly what I wanna to bring to you guys today. So let's start with the tech bubble first and then we'll jump into the financial crisis and then the warning that you need to hear. So back in the late 90s, I was a young know-it-all investor going to turn thousands into millions in just you know a year or two or so. But unfortunately, I made every mistake possible before, during, and after the dot-com bubble crash. Before the crash, I made the mistake of buying the hottest trending stocks and completely ignoring valuations. Valuations just didn't matter with high-flying tech companies. Then during the crash, after I lost more than 50% of my money, I made the mistake of selling out completely because stocks only go down and I'm going to take my loss and buy back in cheaper. Except I had no idea when stocks were actually on a discount because I didn't do valuations at all, so I was too afraid to buy when stocks were at an all-time low and complete steals. Here's an example. I made the mistake of not buying Amazon 90% off and a ton of other great stocks that I loved and wanted to own because I did not put in the work. And then I let my emotions dictate my decisions and I listened to the Wall Street Journal and the news. And just remember guys, the internet was not like it is now, so that is where you got your news from. Let me know in the comments if any of this sounds familiar. I mean, I think many new investors get caught up in this exact cycle and I know I sure did. Bottom line, I could not have handled this any worse and I literally made every mistake you could make. After all that happened and it all kind of washed out and I was looking at my 4% interest on my savings, I figured saving my way to millions was not going to work either. So I studied more. I read the most amount of books that I could possible on stocks and investing in general. And I started buying in 2002 until the next crash. But this time was different for me due to the scars of the previous crash. When the market got overheated and valuations got way out of whack, I just honestly was not buying. Now to be clear, I had no idea what the heck was going on. I mean zero, I had no idea. I just knew prices were out of whack and would correct down at some point in time. I mean the math is the math and valuations always eventually matter in stocks. And this thing of losing half of all the money I'd saved since I was a teenager still stung even to that day, even if it wasn't a lot of money in hindsight, it still hurt and I wasn't going through that sting again. And then when the financial crisis hit and it actually lasted for years, I was still down, but you know, not as bad or as fast as before because I bought based on valuation and avoided buying at the highs and instead pooled cash that I could now actually distribute. And because I had done valuations on everything, I knew when stocks were on a discount and then on super discount. Did I buy too early? Oh, yes I did. It always dips after I buy and it still does it today. I did not time the bottom on a single stock that I bought. Not a single one I bought at the bottom. Every time I had cash that wasn't going to real estate, it went into the stocks that I wanted to own that were great companies at great prices. I mean, Warren Buffett said, don't speculate, just buy great companies on a discount and look long-term and that's honestly all I did. And to be perfectly clear here, 
Maybe it was easier back then because it's not like you had an app on your phone to check every five minutes. I mean, I had an old school flip phone and I had a computer that I hated, so I never logged into that thing just to check. But I do know I was down for close to two years. I mean, I looked dumb, I was bleeding everywhere, I didn't time a single purchase anywhere close to the bottom. And yet, I made more money in the first year or so coming out of that than I had in my entire life, including my paychecks, and that was years before most people even began dipping their toes back into the market. Now, don't get it wrong, I missed on some picks. I mean, I made a video about my wonderful GE investment that I could have literally put anywhere else and done 10 times better. But the bottom line was, it didn't matter over the long run across my entire portfolio. It was an incredible once in a lifetime chance to buy stocks on an incredible discount. So now I have been following the same playbook this downturn as well. Before this mess all started, I didn't stretch my buys on Apple or Tesla, for example, last year because I bought based on my valuation. So my latest buys on them were last year when I got Apple at 117 and Tesla at $620 or so. So they have a long way to fall before I am in the red on just those buys, much less the entire position that I bought a lot cheaper. I know I cannot time the bottom, so I don't care where the bottom is. Long run, the prices today of many of the great stocks that have fallen into undervalued territory are going to look just silly. Now, some great stocks have not fallen into undervalued territory yet, so I'm not buying those yet, but I will be a buyer if they get there. The beauty of having been through this a couple times before is I have not once felt fear or had the urge to sell. I mean, the tech bubble was actually much worse. Every single metric during the financial crisis was light years worse than the market is right now and the economy right now, to be honest. And more importantly, I know the more beatdown stocks get, the more money will be made coming out of it. So I am almost wanting it to do that. As I know I'm patient, I will be buying and will be riding the wave that comes back up. The biggest fortunes are made during the crashes not the inevitable run up afterwards. But there is also a warning I want to give you guys today, but don't worry, I will tell you exactly to handle all that as well. But the warning is this, the fear, noise, and intensity of the message are going to get worse over the next few weeks and carry into the next quarter at least. It will be far scarier out there than it should be and you are going to hear it everywhere, especially as every company out there adjusts their guidance for this new environment. If you decide to fall into the fear and listen to the noise, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to miss opportunities, and ultimately you're going to be left with regret. You are in for some real pain. So how exactly do you overcome that challenge? Well, the only thing I can tell you is exactly what I'm doing. I already have a plan laid out that serves not only my stock goals, but my wealth goals, my retirement plan, and my overall life plan. And seriously, just build one if you don't have one. We cover that in the group, but you don't have to go there. You can find it on YouTube for free or Google it or whatever. Find the information and start there. You're also going to need to continue to build your cash position and have it ready. And for reference, I have roughly 30% in cash and I have other instruments in place if I need more cash, along with my money loops that constantly replenish my investing account. So if Wall Street gets utterly ridiculous, I'm prepared no matter what. You will also need to know exactly what stocks you want to buy, know when it's undervalued, and then know what price target you want to buy it at. In a crash scenario, you want to buy great stocks at undervalued prices, but you cannot do that unless you have done a real valuation on each stock so you know exactly when a great stock is on a great discount. And finally, you have to execute your plan. Be willing to pull that trigger. Plan for if you buy and it keeps dipping. Understand that it may not recover as fast as you want it to be, so you have to be patient. The longer it stays down, honestly, I like it because the more I can add to a great stock at great prices. So when it runs back up, which it always does over the long run, you will have plenty of shares and get to enjoy the run up instead of having to FOMO like most people will have to do. But I wanna hear from you. Do you think this is going to get a lot worse? And if so, by how much? And tell me what stocks you're targeting. I mean, I'd love to know what you're looking at. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.